I need it, I want it. Uh, if you have a car, because you do need a car for this to power up, this is a really useful tool. It's called the Magna Tools 4-in-1. And what it is, is a vacuum cleaner that you can basically plug into your carport. Uh, it is also a, a compressor. So now you're gonna inflate all your tires, your pool toys, your sports equipment, anything that needs that quick inflating. It's got a bright LED flashlight on it. And what's the one I'm missing oh, too? Yeah. Oh, a voltmeter. So you, you kind of like never guessing what your battery's looking like and True. where it is. Now you're gonna get all the attachments included today, including some of the inflation adapters for, for all your inflation because it is that compressor. You're mm -hmm. going to get your cleaning tools as well, like the crevice brush, the dusting brush. Everything today for $58.28. And when Lou walked in with it, I said, Lou, that's a hand vac. Yeah, it is. He said it is. It is, but among so other more. things. That's right. <laughs> Welcome, Luca Caputo. Thank you very much. Yeah, and when you look at this, look at everything you get. Yeah. I mean, to me, this is everything that you're going to need because you are getting all the vacuum attachments. You're getting your tube here, uh, your hose for the compressor. You're getting all the adapter tips as well, three of them to be precise, including one that you can use to fill the kids' athletic balls. That's right. Uh, and then you're even getting a hose here that's for the vacuuming function. So a whole lot on this, plus a built-in mm -hmm. flashlight. So let's get down and do a little bit of work here. I know, and look, all that power in your hand, in by your the hand. way, because it's only yeah. two pounds, right, Lou? It's only two pounds. And you know, on the side of this here, there's actually a built-in digital pressure gauge. And that's okay. something that normally you pay a lot of money for. And you can see right there, that is a digital pressure gauge. So now going through the features on this, if I press this button here, I can change, well, that actually is showing me the voltmeter. See what it says, 12.7 volts? That's right. So that's showing me that the device that this is plugged into right now is 12.7 volts. I can change the unit of measure on here for the air pressure from okay. kilograms per square inch to uh, you know uh, pounds per square inch or whatever your unit of measure you want to use. So you can do that on here as well. There's a plus and minus button so I can actually change the pressure. That's and right. since it's a digital pressure gauge, when it reaches the proper pressure, it's gonna turn itself off. Isn't that nice? And then there's a button on the side here that actually activates it. And I'll show you that in a second when we do that. But let's start out with a couple messes because for a lot of people, if you have this in the back of your car, if you got kids or you got a husband, guess what? Oh You're gonna have gosh. a mess. I, all the time, it's you inevitable, it's inevitable. Yeah. Okay, so watch this mess right here. So we're gonna start with a little coffee, okay, yeah. in the car. And watch the way I can just go right down the line here. And see the way it's just, before I even get to it, it's actually picking up the coffee grounds. That's right. Yeah. Ooh, it smells good, doesn't it? I know, it does smell good. <laughs> I like, think we both want some coffee. <laughs> look at that, right to the end of that. Um, yeah. Our next mess, a little parsley right here. Look at the way, and this is a little bit of a, gr a bigger, um, Particle. Particle, yeah, yeah, particle right here. Take a look at that. And the way that's going in there, it's just yeah. filling this up. Look at that. Boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. Yeah. All done there. And I, you know what I like about this is a lot of people say to me, hey, you know what, Lou? I've already got a vacuum at home. Well, you know, I, I don't need this. How long is that cord on your vacuum? Because like in my house, if I park my car at the end of the driveway, yeah. I don't have a cord that's reaching that. That's right. You know, unless that's I'm getting right. extension cords and now this has become a whole much bigger project. Yeah. With this in the back of the car, you plug it into your power port. Yeah. And you're good to go. Yeah. Let's try this on a little pasta right here. Yeah. And the truth is, I mean, you don't need batteries or electricity. This lives in your car. So when the messes happen, you get to them faster. You but do. it's nice to know that I could, you know, fill up my tires oh, yeah. if I need. Like, I don't have to stop at the gas station. You don't. These projects don't become projects. They so don't. So you're more likely to well, do Well, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually use the hose attachment here and pick up something finer like this uh, salt that's on here. Okay. And that actually just fits right into the end just like that. See what I did? The yep. hole that we were just vacuuming through. We put that on there. Now, I've already got on here the crevice tool. <laughs> But I just want you to see the way I can go down this with this crevice tool and the way it just picks all of this up. So if you've got to get between the seats, you know, if you yeah. want to get along the door frame in the car right. where a lot of stuff likes to hide. Is that where like those rogue french fries go? The rogue that's, french fries. Look at the way I can just get that all that of that this find up. a month later. Boom. Done. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So now I've shown you how you can use it as a vacuum. I'll come back and get some of this other stuff a little bit later. But let me show you how you can use it as an inflator, okay, yeah. as the compressor function. So when you use it as a compressor, we do give you this hose that I've already got attached to this tire. The hose fits on the end of the unit right here. And there's a little nipple on the back of this. And all you've got to do, see it right there? Yep. And all you've got to do is just put this on the end like this and then you press down and that's what locks that into place. That's now, right. here's the thing about tires. When you fill a tire, the pressure of the tire is always written on the side of it. Okay, on the sidewall. And if it's a car tire, it's gonna be, you know, sometimes it's, uh, it's always in the door, door jam. Yeah. It's in the door jam. So we've already got the pressure for this set on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the compressor. Now, this tire, in case you were wondering, is flat, as you can see right there, mm -hmm. okay? So I'm gonna hit the pressure gauge here and it's gonna start going. I can feel it filling the tire. 
And when it gets to the proper inflation pressure, it's just gonna stop. You're gonna hear it gradually start to slow down as it gets to the proper inflation pressure. But once it gets there, it just stops, boom, done. Just like that. Look at that, and that tire is full. Now, let's say I wanted to do one of the kids' athletic balls. Maybe one of the kids are going to a game or something, and they need to fill something up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this end off of the tire right here, just pull that off, and I'm gonna put the needle adapter on here. And actually, I've already got the needle adapter in the ball. You can see it's on there, okay? Same way I attach this to the tire, I'm gonna put this on here. Actually, I'm gonna pull that out a little bit. I'm gonna put this on here, just like this. And then we push down and that locks it into place. Got it. We're gonna put it inside the ball. Now the thing about a ball is you don't set a pressure for it. You do it to touch. So I'm gonna hit the inflation button. You're gonna see this thing start to inflate. Watch this. Watch it go. And if anybody at home's watching this going like, well, it's so tiny, how's it, you know, so powerful? Yeah. It's a real compressor. You can actually hear the piston inside. I was gonna inside. say, it's not an inflator, it's no, actually it's a, a compressor. No, it's a compressor, yeah. Okay. There you go. And that is under pressure now. And the thing with the ball, as I said, is you do it to touch, yeah. so we didn't have to sit here and kind of babysit it, this it thing. It is so useful. It's always where it needs to be, yes. because I know it sounds crazy, but right when you need to, those products, you never find them when you need them. Yeah. This lives in the car because it has to be powered uh, by your adapter in the car. So it lives in the car, it's always there. This is not gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna you know, be used in other areas. It lives there and now you've got so much capability in your hands. Only 2.8 pounds, but still lots of power. Remember, it is a true four in one. And, and that's cool, because if it was just a hand vac, like yeah. you said, we, we have those, right? We yeah. got those, right? Everybody's we got we those. need things that work like we do. We multitask <laughs> our items and our purchases have to multitask it's true. too. Yeah. Okay, well let's do something a little more difficult, because yeah. if you got kids, chances are the messes aren't always gonna be a dry mess and might have a little bit of liquid. Now I'm gonna tell you straight up, this is not a wet dry vac, but for a small wet mess, wet a mess? combination mess, right. you could do that. So let's say the kids are eating cereal in the back of the car and they drop a little bit of milk in there too. Okay. Okay. So if I take this now, now notice what I've done is I put the hose back on, I'm gonna use a crevice tool because this is one of those uh, floor mats that actually holds the liquid. Yeah. Watch this. I can go in here. Oh. <laughs> You got the compressor on. I turned the compressor on. <laughs> I could hear it, you, but you know, you can't mess it up. You know what, I was so focused on what I was doing. But look at the way I can go in here, and notice I'm not having to like first clean up the wet mess, yeah. and then go back and get the cereal. I can do both at the same time. Yeah. So it's gonna save you time, it's gonna help keep your car looking good. Moms of the world, grandmas yeah. of the yeah, world. Yeah, rejoice. They're saying, oh my gosh, yes. But also if you've got a messy partner, maybe you're messy. Maybe, you know, maybe you are, you know, my sister Marlene, Granted, every time she's in the car, she will absolutely spill her tea or her coffee. It's it's just guaranteed. Yeah. You know, then you need a product like this. It is four in one. It's even got the flashlight in there. And today you get to bring it home for $14.57. Yeah. It is the lowest price we've ever been able to offer on this guy. And I think it's so convenient. Because, by the way, Lou just said it's not a wet vac. No. But how nice to know that it's got the power that you could do that you if you needed to clean that mess up. And, by the way, nothing extra you have to buy, no bags, no extra filters. That's a reusable, rewashable filter. You just pop it out, uh, you rinse it, and then you just let it air dry, and then you are good to go. I think it's indispensable for anybody that drives, but Lou, anybody that's going on a road trip, anybody yeah. that has an RV, you know, any of those things where you just want to have that extra peace of mind and be prepared, uh, this is that item. No, this is that item. This is going to be for the road trips. And, so, and you know, this is one of those things I feel like everybody should have in their car. Yeah. And you should have it in there all the time. So I want to take you down here real quick. And I just want to show everybody. Oh, actually, you know what? Before I do that, let's just show everybody what they're going to get one yeah. more time. Yeah. Because I think it's important that you see that this is a whole kit right here. Because so far, you've seen me use all the features on this. Um, the voltmeter. Now, today's the today's special today. That's okay? right. Okay? This would go perfectly with that hand in hand. Okay? Because sometimes you get in your car, and it's hard to tell what the problem is with your uh, car battery or your alternator. If you have one of these, when you plug this into the lighter and you hit that button that's gonna show you the voltmeter, it'll show you exactly what the voltage is. And if it's a battery, just the battery, you, you turn the car into the accessory position, which is yeah. that first position, it should be around 12, 12.7 volts. And then you saw yeah. that that's what we had a moment ago. Right. 
if you're running the car, then your alternator should be charging the battery at the same time. It should be 13 volts or higher. Like in my Jeep, it's um, like 14.6, uh, mm -hmm. you know, when I'm driving. So you'll have a better idea of what the problem you is. You should have a better idea. And you can talk intelligently to the people from the auto club or to your mechanic or whomever, if, they, if you call somebody and tell them, here's what I'm seeing. That's That'll right. help them diagnose what's wrong and tell you what you're <coughs> gonna have to do. But you are getting the accessories for this as well. Mm -hmm. They're gonna help you with all of your inflation needs. You're getting all the vacuuming tools with this. I mean, this is a complete kit. It is a complete kit. It makes such a great gift, by it the way. Does. Anybody that you put in a car, maybe, maybe it's your grandkid, your 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 college bound kid, you know, anybody that's driving for the first time, and maybe it's your parents. Maybe your parents have, you know, are, are getting up there in age. I worry about my parents in the car all oh, the time. I hear you. They are now in their 80s. It's just a little bit of peace of mind in the car. And then you know what? It is for that everyday mess. If you like to keep a tidy car, you're gonna love this thing because this little powerhouse vacuum lives in the car. It's not going anywhere. You're not gonna look for it. It lives there because uh, it needs that car battery to go ahead and, and clean up those messages. So 628-911 is yep. your item number. Lou, I'm gonna head outside. Okay. Because I got the TS coming up. I got some uh, stuff to clean. Yeah. I got things to clean here. Well, so I want you to take a look at the pile that I've got right here just to show you. This is the stuff that we've done so far and I dumped it out on the table just so you could see how much this will hold. I could have gone more, but I want to just give you an idea of the first couple of messes. Now look at this one. This is some more chunky stuff that we've got right here. And I want you to see the way, it's birdseed actually, the way it's picking all this up. But if you've ever dumped anything like this in your car, you know what a nightmare this can be to get up without getting your vacuum. Maybe it's the dog food. My gosh, I had this happen the other day. I ripped a bag of dog food. When I went to the dog food store, I was taking it out at home. I was trying to carry too many things. And just look at the way that you can get that up. Now maybe your kids did a school project, they've got a lot of glitter. Glitter is a nightmare. Look at this. The way I can just go down this line here and pick up the glitter. By the way, look at the way the flashlight is working on this. It's doing a great job of illuminating the field in front of me as I'm walking along here and I'm doing this. So you can see how great this works on this and what a, what a quick job this is gonna do in your vehicle to get that glitter up if the kid's project just blows up in the car. And then just as easily, I can all of a sudden turn around and if I need to, I can inflate something. And I can do all of that without having to think about what I'm doing or what, you know, any making any special plans, doing it all with the same tool, hit that inflation button, watch that ball go from flat to full in a few seconds so that when you take it with you to the soccer practice or the kids volleyball game or football game, basketball, whatever, you're gonna be able to save the day and do that inflation. So that's your Magna four-in-one tool. I see Leslie has made her way outside. Let's see what she's got for us 